Hi everyone, my name is Dane Geyser and I am the Program Coordinator for the West Virginia Department of Agriculture's Veterans and Warriors to Agriculture program. I'm a West Virginia native and veteran myself and I actually grew up on a small farm in Tyler County. In 2010, I enlisted in the Air Force and spent six years there before deciding to return to my home state. At that point, I attended West Virginia University Institute of Technology, where I completed my bachelor's and assisted in the development of West Virginia Tech's first ever agriculture club. During this time, I was also fortunate to intern at Sprouting Farms, where I learned a lot about production agriculture and food systems. This experience inspired me to continue working in agriculture, so I'm thankful to have the opportunity to be here working for the department but especially to have the opportunity to support my fellow veterans. During this presentation, I just wanna go ahead and give you an overview on the program, what members receive, and how you can participate. Commissioner Leonhardt said it best when talking about the program. From raising livestock to tending fields, agriculture can heal the wounds of war and provide rewarding hard work for those men and women returning to civilian life. We have a duty to give back to the individuals who have served our country, and the goal of the program is to make that duty a reality. So who all is eligible to participate? Well, veterans and military retirees, active duty, National Guard and Reserve personnel, regardless of the number of days spent on orders, Gold Star family members, dependents of veterans, retirees, or deceased individuals honorably or medically discharged, and you are actually not required to be a West Virginia resident, although you should note that if you're not a resident, all of our trainings and meetings and classes are going to be still held within the state. There are several reasons to join the program, but I went ahead and listed a few here. First, we offer a number of education, training, and scholarship opportunities. We have been able to partner with agencies and veteran service providers in the past to bring educational opportunities to our veterans around the state. A recent example of that is our partnership with the Beckley Vet Center, where we have been able to provide outreach and look forward to delivering an introduction to beekeeping once group meetings can safely resume. Last year, we were able to offer our first scholarships for veterans attending the Appalachian Grazing Conference. We have decided to really beef that up this year though we plan to offer over $10,000 in scholarships. We had planned to provide scholarships for the West Virginia Beekeepers Association Spring Conference and Master Gardener Annual Conference, but both of those events had to be canceled in response to COVID-19. We do plan to offer more scholarships this year though, for events such as the West Virginia Beekeepers Association Fall Conference, WVU's Farm, Forestry, and Natural Resources Tax Seminar, and Cattlemen's College. I'm going to talk a little bit more about one of our educational programs, the Veterans Education and Training Series, more in just a bit. Now, for opportunities to be featured in eNews, West Virginia Department of Agriculture, social media, and the Market Bulletin. Those of you who follow the West Virginia Department of Agriculture or read the market bulletin may have noticed that every month we try to highlight a veteran farmer or value added producer. Normally, we will conduct an interview, create a video, and produce an article, and this provides a great opportunity for our veterans to advertise their business or organization and really get their name out there. Next, we have assistance in identifying and navigating available resources. For those of you getting started in agriculture, You've probably noticed there are a ton of organizations out there offering a lot of different resources, anything from training to lending to grants, technical assistance, and so on. On top of that, you might be trying to figure out how to register your business, what you're allowed to sell and where, or what you need to put on your label. This is actually a big part of my job, serving as a point of contact to help you find the right resources and information. We also offer mentorship and networking opportunities. Right now, we are really working to build our training with opportunities to work with mentors and network with other veterans. And I'll tell you a little bit more about this when I discuss our veterans education and training series. I'm also here to help you find a mentor that can offer you guidance as you get started and explore new opportunities. 
And starting next year, we're going to be offering a more formalized mentorship program in the apiary industry, working with some of our department personnel. The program also allows access to state and national branding for members and through partnerships and agreements with organizations like the Farmer Veteran Coalition, we are able to develop, improve and promote branding opportunities to help our veterans and help their products stand out. Soon members will even have access to printed materials with our program logo, again helping their products stand out as local and veteran produced. And last but not least, we offer ongoing business development, marketing, and technical support. Not only are we here to help you find and navigate resources, but we are also here to offer support and assist you in creating sustainable businesses. We do this largely by working with our planning coordinators who are embedded around the state. These coordinators are our boots on the ground, and we work together to help our veterans make local connections, plan their production, market their products, and ultimately get their products into the local food system. Before I dive into the Veterans Education and Training Series, I want to go ahead and show you what our Veteran of the Month would look like in our e-news and WVDA social media pages. This is Chad Trent. He's a maple syrup producer in Lincoln County. And we went there and uh, filmed a short video on him. Uh, you can find the link for that down at the bottom of the page. Um, I encourage you to go check that out. It's a pretty neat video. Um, but basically, we just did this interview here, talked a little bit about his maple syrup operation, um, his his service in the Air Force, and uh, his plans for the future. And it gives a good opportunity to just highlight his business and, and let people know in the area that he's there and, and what type of products he has. All right, so I mentioned earlier that I was going to dive into our Veterans Education and Training Series, also known as VETS, a little bit more. This initiative came about to meet the need for intensive agricultural education that is flexible, but also standardized enough that we can take it around the state, plug in different instructors, and still deliver quality information and experiences. Ultimately, our goal is for all or most of these series to be recognizable for college credit too. In fact, participants in our first series are able to receive two credit hours through Mount West Community and Technical College. So what do these series actually look like? Well, each series will include about 15 to 20 hours of instruction time, which is made up of both classroom and hands-on activities. We have also developed these series so that the 15 to 20 hours of instruction can be broken down into blocks as short as two to three hours. This allows us to deliver classes in a variety of formats, such as one or two evenings a week for several weeks, two or three full Saturdays back to back, or a few hours on Saturday morning for a few Saturdays in a row. But no matter the format, each series will be delivered by an industry expert. Additionally, most of the series will also require a short 12 to 15 hour internship with a mentor to receive the certificate and meet the requirements for college credit. Regardless of the certificate or credit, this internship is a great way to gain some additional hands-on experience and establish a relationship with a local expert for you to turn to as you get started on your own endeavors. VETS is going to offer training in a variety of different topic areas, and some of those topic areas veterans can expect to see this year are going to include beekeeping, herbs and essential oils, maple syrup, high tunnel production, and even more. Our first series was Agricultural Business and Entrepreneurship. It kicked off back in February at the West Virginia Small Farm Conference with the Small Business Administration's Boots to Business Reboot. And then participants continued meeting on Thursday evenings to complete Unlimited Future Inc.'s Planning for Profit, an intensive business startup course. This course covered topics such as writing a business plan, legal structure, budgeting, understanding cash flows, marketing, and more. The series finished with a networking event, which brought 
new and expanding producers together with buyers, aggregators, consignment outlets, and direct sales experts around the state. Our next series is going to be on beekeeping in the early summer, and we are looking to host it mostly online. Something else to keep on your radar is that House Bill 4693 was signed by the governor on March 25, 2020. There will be more details to follow, but this bill with an effective date of June 5th will be making some changes to the name and expanding our eligibility. So just be on the lookout for that and some new promotional items and logos that are more reflective of our growing mission. I've covered a lot over the last few slides, but I hope you'll find the information to be helpful. The best thing to do to stay involved and keep up to date on all of our offerings is to go ahead and fill out an application and send it in to me. Then I can keep you updated through email and letters and phone calls to, to ensure that you receive the information and know what's going on. Also, you can find our application at www agriculture.wv.gov or you can contact me anytime via phone or email. Again, my name is Dane Geyser and you can reach me at 304-558-2210 or vets2ag at wvda.us. Thank you for your time.